Hi, my name is Mike. In today's video, which I'm calling Idol Worship, Idol Worship is everywhere, whether it's worshipping a statue, an image, or a sports or movie or pop star, or your favourite football team more than God. But in today's video, <clears throat> I want to concentrate on how idol worship has infiltrated the church. Let's start by reading what does idolatry mean? It means the extreme admiration, love or reverence of something or someone, the worship of someone or something other than God as thought it were God. Anything you love, treasure, prioritise, identify with or look to for need and fulfilment outside of, of God, putting it ahead of God. Let's look into scripture, what God says about idolatry. <clears throat> Ex Exodus 23 to five. You shall not have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. Uh, you shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. 1 John 5.21 Dear children, keep yourselves from idols. 1 Corinthians 10.14 Therefore, my dear friends, flee from idolatry. Leviticus 19.4 Do not turn to idols or make metal gods for yourself. I am the Lord your God. And Revelation 9.20 The rest of mankind who were not killed by the plagues still do not repent of the work of their hands. They did not stop worshipping demons and idols of gold, silver, bronze, stone and wood. Idols that cannot see or hear or walk. So in scripture it plainly states, do not worship idols in any image or form. Yet the church is saturated with idol worship which many believe to be worship of God, but really they are breaking God's commandments and, and going against scripture. Many believers in Christ think this is okay to have an image of Jesus on the cross, either on their wall or around their necks. This is idol worship, as many believe this is okay. As I read earlier, this is idolatry. Let me just read Deuteronomy 4, 15 to 17. Therefore watch yourselves very carefully, since you saw no form on the day that the Lord spoke to you at Horeb, out of the midst of the fire. Beware lest you act corruptly by making a carved image for yourselves in any form of any figure, the likeness of any male or female, the likeness of any animal that is on earth, the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the sky. And the cross itself was introduced centuries uh, before the death of Christ. Um, let me just read an article called The History of the Christian Cross from World Atlas. Uh, dot com and I'll leave a link to this article. The Christian cross is regarded as the primary symbol of the Christian religion. The cross is a symbol of the instrument of crucifixion of Christ. Uh, the two main common forms of crosses presented in the Christian religion are the Greek cross and the Latin cross. A vast body of evidence shows that the cross was used centuries before the birth of Christianity. The cross is thought to have originated from the ancient Babylonians before it spread to other parts of the world, such as Syria, Egypt, Greek, Latin, India and Mexico. The pre-Christian cross was used as a religious symbol and as an ornament among the Egyptians, Syrians, Greeks, Persians, Europeans and in some parts of Africa. There was therefore universal use of the pre-Christian cross in many cases, its use was usually connected to some form of worship. Um, the pre-Christian cross existed in two forms, the two cross and the Savakia or Folot cross. The two cross resemble the Greek letter T, 
which I said like before in my other video, T, two mares, stands for two mares, and later they drop the T bar. On the other hand, the follow cross resembles the four Greek letter G's placed together. The two cross was initially used among the pagans. It was later adopted by the Christians in Egypt, where its use became common. For this reason, the two cross is sometimes referred to as Egyptian cross. Evidence of the use of the cross centuries before the coming of Christ can be seen in the British Museum on the effigy of King Samisba of Syria. Besides, goddess Diana of the ancient Greeks is portrayed with the cross in a way that resembles how Virgin Mary is portrayed in statues by artists. The Christian cross as a Christian symbol has its roots in ancient paganism. And only after, says here, Constantine was the use of the cross acknowledged as a symbol of Christianity. Uh, centuries after the death of Christ, Constantine uh, saw a vision and placed it on his shields of his army, the cross, and later used it into Christianity. So originally it stemmed from ancient Babylon. Anyway, I'll leave it there. And so anyone out there who hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye.